How to Back Up Your Files with Acronis True Image 2016 To protect files such as documents, photos, music files, video files, you don't need to back up your entire PC. You can save specific files and folders. To back up files and folders, start Acronis True Image 2016 and sign in. On the sidebar, click Backup, click Add Backup, and then click Create New Backup. Click the Backup Source icon and then select Files and Folders. In the opened window, select the checkboxes next to the files and folders that you want to back up, and then click OK. Click the Backup Destination icon, then choose your backup location. In this example, we'll use an internal drive. When you create a backup, you can also change the additional options. The Schedule tab allows you to specify your backup settings. Here you can select the frequency of backup. If your files change every day, the best backup option is the daily schedule. To ensure that the backup location does not overfill, we recommend choosing one of the available backup schemes. Backup scheme selection can be found on the Backup Scheme tab. Let's choose the incremental scheme as an example. We'd recommend this option if you need frequent backups and the ability to roll back to a specific point in time. To delete obsolete backup versions automatically, you can set cleanup rules. To do this, set the keep size of the backup option as needed, e.g. no more than 30 gigabytes. The setting you choose will depend on the size of the backup location. Generally, incremental backups are considerably smaller and take up less storage than full or differential backups. If you lose an incremental backup or it becomes corrupted, all later incremental backups will be unusable. That's why we recommend creating a full backup after several incremental backups. You can also specify an email account to send your notifications to. We will use a Gmail account as an example here. To configure the email notifications, select the Send Email Notifications About the Operation State checkbox. To configure email settings, enter the email address in the To field. Enter the Outgoing Mail Server, SMTP, in the Outgoing Mail Server field. Set the port of the Outgoing Mail Server. By default, the port is set to 25. You can find account settings on your email provider's website. If required, select the SMTP Authentication checkbox and then enter your username and password in the corresponding fields. To check whether your settings are correct, click the Send Test Message button. A backup file can be password protected. Enter the password into the appropriate field. Keep it in a safe place for future reference. If a password is lost or forgotten, then there's no way to retrieve it, meaning you won't be able to recover your backup. It's also possible to validate the backup. If you select Validate Backup when it is created, the program will check the integrity of the recently created or supplemented backup version. On the Performance tab, you can configure a number of settings, compression level, operation priority, network connection speed limit, Note that it's impossible to change backup encryption, password, and compression options in any existing backup plan. You can find out more about backup options in our online documentation. Click Backup Now if you want to start the configured backup plan immediately. Click on the Created Backup Plan and choose Open Location. Here you can check your backup. Thank you for watching. To see more,